Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel Minecraft server, which is just over seven years old. And uh, this iron farm is just over seven years old. And we've been retrofitting it to make it work again. It was not functioning on the old mechanics, so we have updated all those. And over the last couple streams, we've been decorating the bottom here. So we have the kill chamber down here, which is a giant melting pot with some steam vents and some other supports that just are cool looking for the sake of looking cool and uh, now we are going to try and address the top because i think just like when we work in west hill i'm going to design the bottom i'm going to design the top and that will inform how i design all points in between we are taking some inspiration from the moss farm which lines up on the same axis here as the iron farm so that's what we're up to today it's getting dark so i'm gonna have to sleep here in a minute my Intrip Media, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Vampire Maid, Grandpa Crafter, Obu, good to see you. Blast Jordan, Axonim, good to see everyone. CJ, how you been? Good times across the board, I hope. Vampire Maid is watching some ads. Yes, I do run ads at the beginning of the stream and on breaks it helps support me a little bit it's not a lot on twitch um, but it also helps encourages people to su support by subscribing that's another one speaking of subscribing the vampire maid now has a one month gift subscription thanks to obu obu thank you ever so much it's always weird when that happens right when i'm talking about it it always feels like i'm kind of plugging or asking for subs which i never do uh, but obu thank you ever so much for the support very, very kind of you. Blast Jordan says, we've just been shaken up by an earthquake on the east side of Taiwan. Thankfully, it only came in as a shake, but still scary. Yeah, I have never experienced an earthquake, but as somebody that does not like turbulence in airplanes, I'd imagine an earthquake would terrify me. So, there's that. Stay safe over there, Blast. So, I'm not sure about the green glass. I, I do like the magma blocks, although I have to go a little bit higher on this one. And we are missing some inventory space. So let's just switch over to the view, the building camera here, and we'll grab a couple of those. And it looks like I need some scaffolding. There's going to be a moment here when I have to go and double check that I've done everything right four times around. That was back there. Whoops. Don't remember what that was. All right, that has to get changed too. What is on the side here? It goes glass right up into the log. So that's what we have there. And now I also wanted to add trapdoors over here. Yeah. By the way, Joel, I did, did get that new job, so you won't lose the house. That's fantastic. Congrats, Vampire Maid. I can't even imagine how stressful it is to have a job go away while you own a home. That's got to be top level, top level stuff. I also wanted to check to see what these would look like. We added these to the outside here. Yeah, I don't want to do it on every side, but I think that looks good. It 
It's really frustrating that the game doesn't know the difference between... Uh, or I guess the game does know the difference between a waxed... Um, trapdoor and an unwaxed trapdoor when you go to pick block I really wish it would know the difference there I guess I probably need a third one down there too don't I yeah I think that helps Okay, so we're going to need to make a judgment call there. I think the, the consensus was I did enjoy this pillar in the back being in closer. Create some more dynamic footprint. So yeah, I think we'll commit to that. So we'll move the other one. Well, look how this looks better than you made it seem in the spawn chunks. Well, thanks very much, Farmer Man. Uh, I think there's been two streams since the spawn chunks. So we've probably, probably made some changes since this, the recording. I feel like my camera is really close. Nope. The only downside to this working is that uh, we have to listen to it the whole time we're standing here. All right, so the base would be that. I also, I put my, my um, shulker boxes too close to everything, and so now it's, uh, I feel like it's in the way. So anytime I take a screenshot, it feels, what did I do over there? Oh, right, that's got the pipe going out of it. I guess, I don't know whether we want this to have a pipe go into it or not maybe what we could do here along the ground is have that kind of lead up that way that could be cool oh that would be a uh, put it in the wrong spot. Hmm, maybe we just put it down here. okay that could look okay not that you're gonna see it very much and then it is glow no it's the mushroom shroom lights 
Two lights. And then... I don't think I'm going to bother with campfires on the back. It's... Two down past that. Well, that's another reason why we're not going to have room to do anything. Uh, this is going to be... I guess that doesn't matter, does it? This is a shroom light. So is that. I guess technically this is a hole. Right, those go straight down to the ground. So we've removed that part there. I think I like that better. There's going to be a bunch of these little fixes the whole way around. I think I need to get a second bed and put it out here because I'm starting to get annoyed by running inside all the time. There they are, right there. Let's put you right there. Vampire Man, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad that you've got some, some course correction happening. This is going to be very difficult to design uh, while we're working. It'll be kind of a pain. Honestly. What did that end up being? That ends up being a solid block. So maybe I do put campfires back here, I don't know. I think it was seven altogether. Looks like it, yeah. Oh, I thought I had that. So I don't think... Oh, I do go into the side there. That's an odd choice. I feel like that should be glass. whole thing is going to be a little asymmetrical as we go it around. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm not sure. I want to leave this open because, of course, the stairs are right here. I think the glass is probably the next thing. Sandy, thanks very much. Now, do I want to have the stream lights there? I guess I probably do. Leave that open for now. Same thing with that one in case we decide to make a campfire there. Now, can I do something like this on the other side as well is another question. Yes, I probably can. But I could probably make it more interesting. Oh, no, that would go here, wouldn't it? Try to put them in the bends. That way it's there, but we don't have to jump over it. I don't know what we can do for this section, though. I guess maybe a trapdoor. Hmm. I'm not sure what the rules are. That actually looks pretty good. I'll do that over the other side too. Cosmic Dancer, hello. I don't know why I did that. I already had them in my inventory. These are expensive, man. Not sure I dig. Also, I think I'm going to have to get myself a bee farm. It's kind of unique looking. Yeah, I think that's good. So we're straight across the back here. Maybe what I'll do just so, so I don't drive myself crazy is I'll leave this exactly the same and then we'll sort this out when we're all done. Chances are there's going to be a campfire here, but for now we'll just do shroom lights. Okay, that's good. I like that that removes the polished um, deep slate from out here and keeps it as part of the the foundation area. I'm still on the fence as to whether slabs would look better. A little less busy, which is nice. Maybe the stairs are just things we do up here. Okay, so now I need copper... I have enough to do that. I should also get a lot of dark oak. 
And I guess the question is, do we want there to be any... Did I not put that in the right spot? Oh no, it's the top one that's moved. Um, do we want these to go in at all? Like, do they go up and then in and then up again? And by in, I mean like in closer to here. So we'd have to figure out a design to do that. Uh, so I can try that on maybe one of the front ones. I think I am going to get that orange glass back. We'll try green glass in the back. I need a lot of scaffolding and a lot of dark oak. This is going to wreak havoc on my dark oak supplies. Thankfully, we do have a data pack that allows us to go back and forth on things. Although, looks like I forgot the all over bark recipe for that one. I'll have to keep a note of those when they come up so I can adjust them. Thanks, Cosmic. I really appreciate it. I know you got to run. All right, green glass is the other thing. I don't want to do all the green glass right now, so I'm only going to do just a little bit just to see if I like the change. Do want to make sure that this has got some clear stuff there. Don't know if it'll be worth setting up a beacon in this area or not. Maybe I should just not do the back. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, four, five. Fazu Battlecaster, I just learned that there's a difference between mini HDMI and micro HDMI. So that's the thing. Oh, yes. I used to work in tech. And it drives me crazy that there's not just one standard. <sighs> USB-C, I think, is the current thing that people are trying to get towards, but there's just so many devices out there. The problem is that production goes so quickly whenever a new technology comes out, and then you end up with all of these devices that have legacy plugs on them. I've got a bunch of things, like especially if you're buying like cheap tech off Amazon, like battery chargers and stuff like that. I, uh, I did... You know, I say that, and let me just grab this battery charger. This actually has, is it USB? What is it? Can't see in the dark. Yeah, so I, it does have, it has type C and micro. So I did make sure that the battery charger that I bought had at least options rather than just one proprietary cable. But the one that it came with is micro, and I had mostly many. Everyone's important. Welcome in. It's a fun username. All right, right away. Oh, I like this better. I like the, the shift to the green, and we can maybe use some vegetation and stuff to get there, too. Does anybody notice that the golems light on fire, like about here? I wonder why all my my glass rendering is really messed up. I don't know if that's the texture mod that I have or whether that's something else. Whether it's sodium or not. I still haven't been able to figure that out. So let's take that all the way to the top. I need more scaffolding. I really can't tell from this perspective.
So this will actually go right into the bottom of this, which is cool. Just like that. And then up here, the other pieces will go two blocks back. How can I do this? Let's use dirt. Should be about right. And I don't have anything but slabs. That's fine. Just have to make sure that these are spawn proof while we're up here. Oh geez, I really went past it. It's been a while since you've been here? Oh wow. I mean, I, I do chat with so many people on Twitch, I, I honestly would be surprised if I was able to remember everybody. So that's what's going to look like with that second pillar in the back. So it might, I don't know if that's going to be a little bit too busy. Maybe before I tear these down, I should take those all the way to the top. Just to make sure we like what's going on. Although it would be really cool if we had lights in here. And that could be really useful too. I think that's a really good idea actually is using the shroom lights up there. I've got a magma block at the top. But what we could do is put a shroom light in here. That'll illuminate everything up from below. Now I don't know if that changes the illumination of that. Um, block I hopefully it doesn't because I like that it was kind of like lighter at the bottom and then it got softer as it went to the top they kind of look all the same with shaders on it's hard to do subtle lighting I guess I could change these from shroom lights to copper bulbs or something else You can sort of see the light there. It'll be a lot more obvious at night. All right, let's take these ones up to the top as well, just to make sure we're not making a giant mistake here. Do I have enough? No. To go get some more dark oak. Do I have the one with the wood back into wood? Maybe I'd stop putting that in there. No, I do. Okay. I know it's a little bit weird putting the bark back on the logs, but the data pack for the recipes was really what I was after. Just that flexibility. Saves a little time for busy adults on the server. So we're going to build these up in the position that's the same as the front there, just to double check. Shopping Thursday. Uh, no, I should have. I should have 
stuff to go get. I should have the ability to, to just go fill a shulker box. I think it's just a little bit too boring to have them lined up perfectly. I think it's just a little bit more interesting. Yeah, prefer the layers, I think. How how often? I, yeah, I I do fall into that trap with the free cam of looking at it from over there too. You're right. It's a subtle difference. All right, we'll go. But we'll go with the the new way. Decision made. If I regret it later, well, I'm probably not going to change it. It's a good reminder, though, sweet Sandy. I definitely can be guilty of looking at things from like the omniscient point of view. Uh, that's right. That's right. Thinking if you have them symmetric on all four corners, you have symmetry at the top, but uh, building whatever's going to be there. Oh, the top could be symmetrical. The top could not be symmetrical. It won't matter. I could just have these go into a different section, right? That's fine. Yeah, the top is just going to be something that sits on top of these. I don't think it's necessarily going to matter. I'm realizing I didn't put the copper in on the bottoms of these. Glad that scaffolding is not spawnable. That would be a pain. It's almost musical, putting down copper. I quite like it. And then this was a shroom light. And green glass. I'll just do it like that for now. Just to double check that we like that. That did not work at all. I really like the combination of copper and acacia logs. That's what I'm going to make the copper stills out of for my distillery in West Hill. Of the bed. I wanted to check this with a little nighttime action. So it's definitely bright up there. You can definitely see the light, so that's good. And that one doesn't have one. So I think that there's a good difference between those two. 
and I like that it'll fade out and then we'll have another one at the top that'll come down and that'll hopefully light the thing in a cool way at nighttime. I think I like the green. We could add more depth there. If, um, if I don't have anything inside of that, then we can go with glass panes instead of glass and that will give that more depth. But if I want to put something inside of there like honey blocks or something, then I'll have to go with the, um, oh, was the back open? The back was probably open. Yeah, I'll have to go with blocks because I think panes would stick to these. All right. I need to look into why this is rendering this way. Maybe it's in my texture pack. Hmm, looks kind of muddy. I don't think I have anything in front of them over here. I think they're just lit from below. Oh, hey, look. Scaffolding. Yeah, they're just right up against that with a, probably a light bullet behind them. Be my guess, yeah. It's all right, we can check. We've got to take out the orange glass over there anyway, so we can just check to see what it looks like with just honey. Maybe we can alternate. Does orange glass and honey look good together? I mean, that's pretty close. We might be able to pull something off in that way. The one with the light is better? Yeah, agreed. It's so bumpy around here, drives me crazy. After seven years, I wonder how many times you've slept in a bed, says Dancing Dave. Uh, you know, it would be a lot, because I'm one of the people that's on the server the most. So this is going to need a shroom light. And then what if we remove this and just had honey blocks going up the middle with no glass? Also, does glass panes, or do glass panes rather, attach to honey blocks in that weird like T formation, you know? All right, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, We'll check that at night next. Why is there always one? Well, it looks better without the green glass in front of it, but I don't know if that's the look that I want. It's still very transparent. I'll have to see. So we need a couple of trapdoors again. I don't know if I put them on the front or not. No, the front has got that thing. I don't know whether that's going to be on the back as well.
just able to reach it. Okay, so that's that part done. But I really think I'm going to need more dark oak. So let's go grab that. Why do I have so many dark oak slabs? That seems excessive. I would be okay with Mojang giving you the ability to craft slabs back into planks, maybe. I know it's not exactly how the world works, but... All right, so surely a half dozen stacks will do us. I still don't think I can do this one. Well, I can do it in two steps. <laughs> I can turn this and then I can turn this. Yeah, I'm missing one recipe. <laughs> uh, I don't think a stack and a half is going to do both of those. So let's grab this and go look for some dark oak. Uh, is there anything else that I don't have that I need here? Does anybody remember anything from yesterday? Shroom lights. I guess we could make a little shopping list. I'm going to go get some more honeycomb too. A little shopping list here. Honeycomb, shroom lights. We need dark oak. Uh, plenty of spruce, plenty of oak. I forgot my anvil was right there. I think we're okay for that. I'll bring this in case I need it, or rather I'll put it in my ender chest. We're okay for glass, but if I can find any glass, I'll bring back some glass. random stuff clogging up the old inventory uh we've got if i have any basalt could use some of that too we're good for those i think that's okay i think that's probably what we'll need Two planks plus a slime ball. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. You know, that's not bad because it definitely costs the player to do that. We'll check my little nether storage here first. Blaze rods, yeah. We got those. Sometimes I have wood here, but it does not look like it. Pretty sure I've pilfered this already. I imagine dark oak in I think I needed more magma blocks as well don't have any shroom lights in there that's disappointing lots of slime blocks ooh check the meadows first but chances are we're going to have to go back to west hill I had glass in the chest in there. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking for other things. Appreciate it, Dancing Dave. Mm -hmm. 
some glass there, but I don't necessarily want to take too much of that. I try to leave like half stacks in places in place in case a farm breaks around here and we need to re repair it or if there's like a um, creeper explosion or something. Why do I have so much ink? I don't really use black dye that much. I guess in the modern city, I was using black dye quite a bit. I don't know, I don't know why I keep on calling it the modern city when it has a name, Southport, but I guess for anybody that's new, it helps if you get the description, right? There was glass in here. There's not much, but Certainly some. And... I didn't see any basalt in here. Where I might have basalt is downstairs in the netherite mine. I might have some more stuff down there. This is a fun, a fun mine shaft. She goes way down. I used it to, des to design in here, so I might have some. I certainly got more magma blocks. That's good. Uh, probably more nether related stuff. Black glass, we can change that, but I'll replenish my orange. Well, there's a blackstone if I ever need it. And there's my blaze rods. <laughs> I knew I had some. I knew I had some. I should put those in here. Just so I can have a stack ready when I need to. What is that, coal? Oh my gosh. So much stuff. Alistair was here. <laughs> There's nothing down that way as far as storage. The only downside about coming down here is it takes a long time to get back up. Have I officially started on my modern build? Oh no, sorry, Turing. I was talking about the modern city. The modern city exists. That that was something I did before, Westel. Um, you might be thinking about the sci-fi build that I want to do that I've been talking about on the Spawn Trunks podcast. Yeah, that has not started yet. I have a location. Uh, I don't know if I have an image of that. I might be able to find it on my break. While I'm here, I want to see if the fog effect is working in the wither squisher. I don't think it is. I really need to look into how sodium culls the faces of different blocks. I mean, it's that's sort of foggy, I guess. I mean, with shaders, it's kind of hard to tell. No, I think that's working. It's probably really dark on stream. This is all brown glass for like five or six layers. And a rib cage. A little bit cooler looking with shaders on. I think that works. Well, that's good because I want to use that in the sci fi area. Okay, so neither. Where am I going here? 
Neither of those had a spot, so we'll go to the south part, Southport Modern, Modern City. Yeah. It's faster. It will be a mob farm. Run for your life. The streets are not safe. And the data packs are not working. Man. Crack shot from that skeleton. Holy smack. No! Why are you in here? You should not be able to be spawning in here. Spruce. I want dark oak. That is not a lot of dark oak. Darn it. I'll check the penthouse after I sleep. It's really fun to be here in the... The shader's on. Uh, let's go out this way. Why did you look at me or I look at you? I would really like a modern furniture um, mod pack. Obviously the tables and chairs data pack is not working anymore, but I would love to have like a proper modern kitchen. I think that would be really cool. That is not what I was hoping for. All right, well, off to the... Um, storage at West Hill. Yeah, I've seen some nice ones, Darker Scarlet. The problem is that they tend to add a lot of crap I don't want. So it's difficult. And I don't want, like, crazy sub-block nonsense. You know, I tend to want very simple, vanilla-inspired... I, I've threatened a number of times on stream to learn how to do my own mod pack. You know, like, I could do the modeling and the art no problem, because I would be mostly taking vanilla textures. I can work in Blockbench easy enough. I did a lot of tables and chairs in, in that program. I know I could do that. For me, it's that learning how to code a mod would be complete Greek to me. Like, I would really have no idea what I'm doing. So we'd have to be careful there. In terms of what amount of time but also you know it wouldn't be a bad skill to have and then i got no one to blame you know when i want to update it right as long as mojang doesn't undo everything i've done and change the world again uh dark oak would be over here yikes well that's disappointing and i don't have spares anywhere And I was in the modern city and I did not pick up any glass. Although I got enough glass, I think we're okay. Basalt and polished basalt. So I didn't really have any shroom lights in my storage either. Extra nether blocks. I knew I had extra nether blocks here. Yeah, sorry for all the blinking interfaces. Okay. Well, I guess got enough magma blocks. I can't remember why I have those. I think it was part of that netherite mine. I think I ended up getting a bunch that way. I can check the farm. There might be some farm, but I've got a funny feeling that if I don't have dark oak in the main storage, then I just don't have dark oak, period. 
That's right. There's a dark oak farm in the modern city. I didn't check to see whether it had grown up yet or not. Twenty is not going to be enough. Lots of acacia. Wow, where did that come from? Normally I like to walk this route, but I'm a little pressed for time today, so I'm zipping around. So unless I can borrow it from someone. Yeah, off to the modern city it is, I think. Well, first we'll check to see if the farm has grown up. If the farm hasn't grown up, then I might have to just do without today. Oh, looks like it's good. Okay. Let's do an AFK for five or six minutes in... Actually, let's go up in this building. I don't remember whether this is um, finished inside, but I can remember how to get to the top. It's a tall building. This should be my place. And everything's broken. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> it was really cool looking. I mean, as best we could do. Armor stand faucet. Like, this is what I really... I really want to be able to do, like, proper kitchen things. Oh, my barbecue... Oh, my barbecue still works. <laughs> All the tables and chairs are garbage, though. That's too bad. Well, it's light enough here that nothing's going to spawn, so it should be okay to hang out here. I'll, I'll let you guys have a decent view. Although it's just going to go back to the, the other screen. There's our dark oak manual farm, so we'll chop down some wood when I get back. What a mess. Man, I can't wait to fix this place. I'll be back in five or six minutes, folks. I do take a break once an hour, and it is that time. Thanks for the reminder, Sandy.
All right, lots of slabs and stairs as furniture that I'd like to avoid. Is there a bed up here somewhere? There is. Okay, we should be able to get up to the ceiling roof here. I'm not sure why. Those used to work so much better. So we should be able to get enough wood here. The question is, is there saplings? Yes. So I will just chop as much as I can and then go. Oh, we've even got the spots designated for the saplings. Nice. I'll just rather than stocking up a full inventory, I'm just going to get a few stacks enough that I think should be good for at least what I have to do today. What's nice about this farm for anybody that ever wanted to do any manual tree chopping, if you get enough of these together. If you replant your saplings as you go, by the time you get around to that last tree, these will have started to grow back up again. So you're going to have to chop them down anyway. And uh, it's a pretty efficient way to do it. We use a lot of dark oak in this area too. The only thing, of course, is that you're probably going to run low on saplings because it takes four, of course, for every tree. These became a lot easier to chop down when they increased the reach by a half block or something. Not sure how much you get per tree, but it's it's gotta be twenty four or more easily. Pretty cool in here with the uh, falling leaves mod too. Although my frame rate is starting to take a little bit of a dip. Shaders and stuff. Probably just one more tree. Should be good. If not, I know where to come to get more. Okay, we won't be grown up, of course. So that's why I don't want to chop them all down. Because there's no one here to load them. problem with running away too is that I uh, miss out on any saplings although again once the leaves are unloaded they should stop dropping as well try to make sure we leave at least four saplings around three there's four That should be, that should be enough. Whoops. I had lots of saplings in the shelter, you're right. Yeah, I did. 
I've got so much stuff that I forget what I have and what I don't have. And the shulker was on my person. Jeez. I could have used the spare room. I could have dumped some off. That would have been smart. <laughs> oh, boy. Tell him a little frazzled today, too, right? Just trying to get stuff done before I have to go. All right, let's see how far this gets us. We'll probably get some of these back as well. I don't see these being totally solid. Why do they look so much lighter? These are dark oak. Oh, are these ones not dark oak? What? These are definitely dark oak. Loki, Loki, hello. Oh, I don't have any non-spawnable. I guess I'll use scaffolding. Block the spawns. I need to go get some carpet. I don't think I've made that mistake. I feel like I would have caught that. Well, that was close. Right, so it kind of goes even like that at the back, and then it's a little bit wider at the front by a block. So then I need to put that one in, and that one in. I'm definitely going to need another stack. Might as well get rid of some of the scaffolding too. Yeah, I feel like I've been very careful not to grab anything from the spruce chest. So that's one, two, three, four going up to the top. We've got one, two, three, four going up to the top there. So now it's just these front bits. The real question is, is it going to look good without this green thing in the middle? That might be what we need to tie it to that. That's got a lot of green glass, so that might be how we tie it visually to the other build. But I could also put the glass in here. Right. Leave that like that.
thought one stuck up there for a second. Aldabar, hello, how's it going? Quick question from Loki. What about the server? I'm on Shockbite with mine and have experienced a bunch of crashes since the migration. You experienced this. Uh, no, I didn't experience any crashes, but I did have um, the server just not being able to be started. And I had to reach out to Shockbite tech support and get them to help. So open up a ticket with Shockbite. They have a team that is aware of all the bugs there are some common bugs that are happening with the migration. I actually spoke with, uh, I think it's Mitch Smith, the um, CEO of Shockbite, got in touch with me because I was talking about this on stream one day and um, detailed uh, in an email to me all of the reasons why they had to push the migration. So some of it was outside of their control and um, they've done the best they could with trying to get everybody over quickly and seamlessly, but it's not always perfect. Uh, but the folks that did get in touch with me i can't remember his name the tech guy that answered my ticket was quite helpful so uh if you if you have not already opened up a ticket i would open up a ticket and uh and go from there uh i guess i can always just fly up here so visually these are kind of annoying There's always one. All right, so this is what it's going to look like with the staggered legs. I kind of like it. I think it looks a little bit more interesting. We could even beef up the footprint on this front one if we wanted to. No problem, Loki. Yeah, uh, just be patient with them. They're they're getting overrun, I think, by tickets. Um, and uh, and thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not sure about the honey blocks. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to check glass panes I didn't work out any of these in there either Trying to think about where we could put some like iron ore blocks. I don't know where. Maybe we can decorate the inside of it with them. It'd be fun. I've got the other ones too. Keep the carpet on me because I keep on forgetting that I need those. I wanted to check to see if glass connects to honey blocks it doesn't i didn't think it would that's good to know but i think again the exposed honey block is probably better although again the way that sodium renders things is a little bit tricky Oh, I didn't get any um I didn't get any honeycomb when I was out in the nether. That's all right. We're probably kind of done with the copper for now anyway. I really like the way that this base came out. I think that's looking cool. So the real thing that I want to fix up now is getting this um sorted on the inside. What is missing there? 
black nether brick, it looks like. Still got some green glass hanging out in there too. So the final look is definitely going to need some adjusting inside. I'm kind of wondering, do you do we think we want the glass out here? I'm going to do it from the front. I think I looked at this yesterday. So we have the glass back there or the glass could be up farther and the and the lava could be up farther. Not sure what we think is better. Do I need the glass? That's a really good question. The glass is holding back the lava from flowing around, so yes. Otherwise, the lava source would just flow out over the sides of things. I just really want to get rid of that sign. So we have to look at the... I've got to look at actually stopping this. Um, one of the things I could do is just raise... Raise the killing platform temporarily. And then burn the, the ingots, because we don't need them need them right now because we've certainly been piling up like look at this that's wild while i have an empty inventory here just let them pile up on a shelf well the problem with that is that, that that's just a bunch of entities that are coming in right i guess at some point they'd start to entity cram but i don't know when for the an a golem like a, a entity of that size i'm not sure what space you'd need it might be a hundred in a in a two by two i don't know yeah all right what's the next step here Probably taking a stab at what the top should look like. And I definitely want to have this kind of like mossy overgrown top bit to it. So we'll have to be careful with how we do that. I think I'm going to go with stripped oak up top as well to help it look different from the bark box blocks. Sort of like the verticals here are all bark, but then the horizontals are all stripped, right? I did that back there too. I do like that. And I do like the supports being spruce. I think it'll be pretty straightforward actually. We do have to build it high enough to uh, to accommodate all of this. So we will have to sort out design this. This block doesn't have to be here, this corner block, but everything else does. We've got one, two, three blocks there. Hmm. And I could light it up too. Because we could have it 
look like this with the shroom lights and stuff. Shroom lights with moss stuff growing over it, maybe. Megibite with a raid, my goodness. Welcome in, folks. Just in time for the pouring rain in Minecraft. Megibite, thanks so much. What were you doing on stream today? I think it was um, Palea, if I saw earlier. Try to sleep here and get a nice view. Meggy Bite Raid, we only bite a little. Well played, I see what you did there. Let's see if Meggy Bite said anything. Uh, and Meggy Bite, of course, if you've got a raid and run, no worries. I know what it's like having been in front of the computer for a while. So I completely get it. Hi, Joel. It was Palea. Lots of fun. Big cozy vibes. Was, we, have you been playing that before or is this your first time? That's really cool. We've played it a little bit on this channel too. It's been a while though. I think I lost interest because it got grindy. Welcome in folks. If you are new to my channel, my name is Joel Duggan and I am a full-time podcaster and streamer. You can listen to things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts on your favorite podcast app. The Spawn Chunks is about Minecraft and the Citadel Cafe is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. And uh, that latest episode, 483 of the Citadel Cafe is about Deadpool and Wolverine, if you want to go check that out. And if you are into the latest snapshots and the latest news about Minecraft and also some bit of uh, modded Minecraft talk, then the latest episode of the Spawn Chunks might be for you as well. Megabyte says, I do have to raid and run for some foods and prep for some travel this weekend. Very cool. Thanks so much for the lurk, Megabyte. Thank you ever so much for the raid. I really appreciate you bringing over your wonderful viewers in. Um, folks, if you're new, uh, this is the Citadel Minecraft server. It is a slightly modded server, vanilla modded, we like to say. Uh, lots of performance mods, things like a map, but not a lot of new blocks. We, we only ever had like a data pack to add like tables and chairs and a couple of recipes, but we really try to keep it as vanilla as possible. But I do like shaders and I do like other things like that. So um, we do have a few mods on the server. We're running 1.21 and this is the spawn chunks of our world. And I'm standing on the moss farm. This is an automatic moss farm when it's turned on. And we are finishing up the retrofit for the iron farm. This used to be, do I have an image? Hold on. I think I have an image that I can actually pop up on screen here full res let's look at this old one there's a good one open there is what the old iron farm looked like it was from six or seven years ago it used doors to make a village that obviously does not work anymore so what we've done is we've used the new mechanic which is the zombie you can just see the zombie up there scaring villagers and then an iron golem will eventually spawn and you'll you'll see him fall and then get burned in our melting pot and this is a brand new design uh it's a i've got black nether brick for texture and then i've got uh deep slate various kinds of deep slate around campfires down there making the the steam and then we've got some copper piping kind of taking care of some of the steam or capturing some of the energy and pretending to melt the golems in there there's just a lava source in there that's killing the golems and then we've stored things in a room behind everything but we are in the process of deciding how we're going to decorate this whether or not i want to use honey blocks which are hard to see with shaders on green glass uh whether or not we want to have different lighting and stuff up there it's hard to see there is a shroom light block right down there that's lighting this vertically and it kind of fades off as we go up uh, but that's kind of where we are we've been up for about two hours almost and I'm in the process of trying to decide how to tackle this design up top because it is not going to be dirt, obviously. And also, we were looking at the insides, which actually we should go take a look at now. So I'm trying to figure out how to change the way that the, gole the golems are killed. And we have everything coming into these chests here. At least I think we do. Oh yeah, there we go. And I need to figure out how to do stuff with a crafter here. But underneath this is where all the collection happens. 
so one thought is to lower this a bit and just have them be killed out of sight. You'll see the iron ingot's going to drop here in a second. It's going to go up there. So one thing we could do would be to drop this down. Uh, that way we'll have more lava happening at the top. I guess I should probably get rid of this here. Just so no one's confused. Not that anybody comes down here. I'm usually the only one. Thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Appreciate you being here. For anybody that just came in, if you want to find out when I stream live, you can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, I generally post to both. I'm much more active on Instagram than I am on Twitter, uh, but I do post when I go live there. So if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, then um, go ahead and follow on the socials. It's at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. Same as my Twitch handle. So you can see, like, I like seeing the lava and I like seeing these guys burn, but you know what? We would see the fire at this level if I lowered the whole thing by a block. So that might be the best way to do it. That might be the best way to do it. And that would eliminate seeing the sign. I kind of want to try that right now. Let's get ready to do that. So the first thing we need to do is stop the golems from falling on our head. That'll be phase one. I'll need some signs. Maybe we'll use... I think spruce signs are the easiest. Uh, I'll need some empty buckets. I'm going to need some orange glass. Which I have. And I need to get rid of that green concrete and I think replace it with some basalt. And that should be it. So we'll put a single lava source up higher. And... I guess it doesn't really matter where we kill them. We're just going to be a temporary platform, right? And I don't care about the ingots. We can just have them vaporize. Not a big deal. So because I'm this kind of person, I might as well just use green concrete for that. this will just kill them and destroy everything and keep us from having golems rain on our head and the easiest way to get access is probably through this one back here oh I need an empty bucket for the water too oh I had one Should be everything. Okay. So all this green is interfering with my fancy design. Let's remove some of this. Oh, there's there's a, there's a hole down here. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot. Where's McScrewgun when you need him? Actually, I can tell you where McScrewgun is. McScrewgun is in Canada. <laughs> That's where McScrewgun is. I'm gonna have a beer with him tonight. Let's just take this all the way down. I do like continuing my designs into their redstone back ends. I think it helps things look 
cooler. Just for the pure completionist in all of us. back up I guess this is a terrible place for that I'm not sure why I put that there I will indeed pass on a hello to mixture gun from the chat I'm sure they will appreciate that all right so we've got this here so I need to lower this down by one block let's just give myself some temporary footing here I guess I already had some dirt but I'll just grab a little bit more. Right. So this should be black for consistency. And I need light. Aziz light. Anybody know where that's from? Gives away my age, that's for sure. It's a quote from a movie. I'll give you a hint. No Googling. You gotta guess it. Jeff, Jeff wins. Well done, Jeff. It is from the fifth element. Oh, so this actually needed to be smaller. And we're not going to have this down here. What are we going to have down here? I guess the black nether brick. Or would it be cooler to have magma blocks down here? I think it might be cooler to have magma blocks down here. Like I said, I like making the back end of my builds look cool. I do know I have lots of these, so I'm not overly worried. Uh, the end texture of basalt. Or what? So... Probably... Magma blocks here. This is basically replacing the. Yeah, I think it'll look. It'll look okay. comes down like this no I'm not sure what happens to those I guess they just get spat up into the other chests okay should be fine I don't think there's filters up there I hope I'm not destroying all this stuff I'm a bit of a pack rat when it comes to Minecraft. No, it looks like it's all happening in there. All right, cool. 
Yeah, there's no filters back here, I don't think. No, just straight chests. Okay. We're going to change all of that back there anyway. Oh, the ends of the basalt for the wall. Um... No, I think I like the magma blocks better. And I guess we could turn this into basalt. This can be anything we want, really. So this ends up being glass. I guess we'll continue that down. That does feel a little strange. Maybe this is going to change too. Yeah, then maybe I feel like that inside has got to be that ledge is going to be something different. It would be cool actually. I wonder if I put stairs there, if the items would get caught on them or not. Probably yes, would be my guess. I guess I could just double up on the glass. It's really weird the way that it renders. Why does that look different? Hmm. Huh. Really odd. I could probably come up with something better here. Maybe we'll do some black stairs or even just a cross brace like that. At which point we don't need these. And I don't have the right block. I'll probably come back in here and mess around. That feels maybe too far forward. Maybe for symmetry we have to push that back a block. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. The glass makes it look a little funky, but other than that.
And then I guess I could just do the cross beam all the way around. It's always tricky working water. Do I have a spare bucket? I don't. Well, I could just do this. I don't know if I'm going to keep the spruce, but for now, I'm going to change this a little bit. I don't know if I like this whole cross beam thing, but we'll do it for now. I probably won't be able to see it, so that's one of the benefits. So the idea is that the golems were landing uh in or on a floor here and there was a water source here that was going across that way so what we need to do is take these signs and lower them by one block on each side that way we can have lava on this level so remove that and remove that which means that we can replace all of this glass with orange glass all the way around. And so now the lava, four sources of lava can go there. And this is gonna be replaced too. And I could actually put the, I've come in through the wrong side. I could put the put the signs on the back of this one and that way you can't see it from the side hopefully so now we have a glass floor here I'll need signs or something to stop the water over this way. So there has to be something there stopping the water, I think. Uh, thank you very much for the reminder, Sandy. Appreciate it. Um, so the golems would be standing in water. Their heads would be, they're one, two point seven. So they have to stand on what I'm standing on here. And I guess that could be basalt or, well, you know, we could make that um, magma blocks. You can't put, can you put water on magma blocks? That's a really good question. You can? Okay. I need an extra water bucket here. And I don't have one. Yeah, you can't see the signs at all, so that's good. And we'll build that back up. So, because once this is like there, you're not going to be able to see any of that. Don't remember what the other ones were like. Just bricks right up to the glass, I think. Whoops. So I just have to decide if I want that there. Okay, that's that part. So 
So the only trick is that the water has got to flow and send things into like these two sides. So it generally, I think the issue is that the water had to flow from this side because here the water would just flow in this direction and the items would not go over the corner. You kind of had to get the water to flow at an angle. So here would be water. from there and then I think I'm gonna try magma again like this is me just being really picky I kind of like that I think it looks okay I think it looks better than what bas like basalt would, would look like in the same position Yeah, I think it looks hotter, maybe. Warmer. And then I'll need one more sign or something else that will hold back water. What would be a good thing to put here that would hold back water? Because I'm going to be able to see it from down here. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I'm not. Just barely. Okay, we should be fine. Or I could put the sign on the magma blocks, and that should do it too, right? If I put water back here... That's sending stuff over here, and then it's going to drop as soon as it gets past the edge. The signs are holding back the water. Weird to have the water. <laughs> Weird to have water in this trap at all. But, um... Oh, it's going to drip. <laughs> I guess... I could try to cover that up with trapdoors or something. Definitely need some refining. But that should, that should work, especially now, this is going to be very tricky. I don't want to do this above my head. Put this back in. I shouldn't have built that back up. Uh, a little unsure of the height of the level. Do you have to have a third block up? Um... Oh, did I not put the signs at the right height? Golems are standing there. They're one, two. Yeah, I put the signs at the wrong level. Or I put the magma at the wrong level. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Thank you. Appreciate it, Sandy. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, okay. All right. If I'm a golem standing here, my head is not in lava. My head would be, I was crouching. The lava would be up there and I would not be being hit by the lava. Uh, so I've made this too low I think I think the water is going to be on that level that seems like it's right back where it started though I lowered the signs I think my issue is that I put the water on the long wrong level this is really annoying Okay, water goes in there.
Really? Of course I'm out of blocks. You're always like in the thick, in the bowels of something when you're like, I don't have that one thing that I need. I also really don't want to die here. Uh, salt. You're still not going to be able to see that from back here, which is fine. Oh, I keep on looking for the trapdoor to go down here, and it's just not there. It's been there for seven years. Joel's on autopilot. Okay, so here, if I put water there, that should work. And then lava goes up there. Looks right to me. One way to find out, and we have just enough time to test it. So now we can be break this block. I've got glass. I've got lava buckets. And no, I don't need four buckets. It just looks better. Uh, so we'll do one, two. Oh, nope. Stop it. Need to be a little bit higher, I think. Let's break this one instead. Just going to replace these while I'm in here. That should be the new place for the golems. And I've lost some stuff here. This was glass. That goes like that. And I'm missing one stair because I think I burnt it in the lava. Does anybody ever feel like when you're trying to finish things up in a timely manner, they start to go super slow? I have a weird perception of time. So there, we have the lava there. We should still be able to see the fire at that level. I don't care. We are seeing a lot more of it on this level because of what reason? Bigger window. Bigger window at the front. And where did you come from? That's not good. Where did you spawn? Uh, Julia MP, hello. Welcome in. All right, let's sleep here. Where did that golem come from? Unless it's the one that wandered off from spawn but no he's stuck up on top of something oh no he's not there maybe maybe he wandered off 
Hopefully that's a golem from the end and not a golem from the farm. I can't imagine it's a golem from the farm. Because, like, this is the spawning area. And I have no... There's no spawning spots up here. Outside of just what's happening in the trap. No, you're absolutely right, Sandy. You're 100%. You are correct. I've got to go. I'm just going to... I'm going to see if we've accomplished the goal here. I'm going to uh, get rid of the lava and see if our collection is working. I'm going to see firsthand what this looks like. Cool. So we can see they're burning. I like that. And then do we get the collection? Looks like yes. Survey says. This is going to be very morbid. We'll check one more time. Something is... Where... Oh, that's a block glitch. Don't know why that block hasn't been caught by the water. That's a little bit weird. I think it's in the block, maybe. Oh, what are you caught on? That's not good. Why for are you doing that? Will this solve the problem? I'm glad I came down here. We're going to watch one more time. That may not be a good solution. I think it's because that's glass instead of a solid block, maybe. Uh, no, the golem's hitbox is larger. Uh, F3B. There's the size of the hitbox in the golem. There's no way it's coming down through here. It's just that the, the items are getting caught, but I think it's because of the glass there. And this is just a two by two column, so I think we're good. We'll test we'll test it again another day. I don't know if I can see that sign from anywhere, probably not. But we'll uh, we'll let it go. I mean it doesn't run when this when I'm not on the server anyway, because technically it's in the spawn chunks from 1.12, but the new spawn chunks it does not have. Oh yeah, you can't see the sign anywhere. I wonder why there's a door crunching noise when they die. Okay, that's it for me, folks. I gotta go. I really appreciate all of you being here. Thank you ever so much to the folks from Megabytes Raid that stuck around. I think that's awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, we are going to have to do something about him. Uh, I think he wandered over from over there. But the mechanics have been fixed. The base is fixed. So now it's really just the design. Now we just have to do the design at the top. And that'll be something along the lines of this with vertical bark, horizontal stripped wood, and then different supports and details and things. I really like the um, smokers in there too. I got to remember to use those when we do the top up there too. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a follow here on uh, Twitch. I really appreciate it. I'm at Joel Duggan on social media. Very easy to find. As I mentioned before, check out the Spun Chunks and the Sigil Cafe. They are both free podcasts and it's my job. So if you want some free content and you'd like to help support me, then it doesn't cost you a thing. You can just go and listen. Uh, the more listeners that we have, the more the show grows and the better that we do. 
I will see you all tomorrow here at one o'clock Atlantic for some Lego live on stream. We're going to be building some Minecraft design Lego by Grandpa Crafter and then back here on the Citadel on Saturday at one o'clock Atlantic. So I will see you all then. I, in the meantime, I'm going to pass you along to, I believe, Scotsman UK is live. Let's double check. And survey says they are. You'll enjoy Scotsman building some epic stuff in Minecraft. Uh, very, very cool fellow. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.